Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Genaro. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Hello, Alba Maribel. Marvel is back. Evelyn, Francesco, hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, there's Evelyn. How is everybody doing? Good? Good, teacher, and you? I am, I'm, I'm doing good, thank you. All right, let me see. So oh, what what did you do la and, and yesterday? What did you do? Hello. Hello. Hi, what did you do yesterday? In in my house. No, give me a complete a complete sentence, please. En español, si yo le digo que hicieron ayer en la casa, se entiende en inglés. Si dicen eso, ¿qué? Porque okay, es falta la oración. ¿Qué hizo en la casa? Me quedé, pinté, dormí, no salí. Pero tienen que decir eso completo. Okay, no talking today. Okay, well, yesterday was the day of the death, November 2. Everybody went to the cemetery. Correct? Disculpe, me pueden escuchar. Hello, hola. Hello. 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 Me escuchan. Yes. Yes. En serio, me escuchan. Wow. Okay. Yesterday I spent time with my mom and my grandfather. Where did you go to the cemetery? No, I didn't go to the cemetery. I was at home at my grandfather's home. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. Who went to the cemetery? Yesterday. Okay. Thank well, you, Marvin. I just, I just yesterday, uh, rest in, in my house. Oh, very good. Thank you. All right, um, Marvel. What did you do yesterday? I am work. I am work is present. Yesterday. What did you do yesterday? Uh, working. That's present. What did you do yesterday? Remember simple past? We did that last month. Le enseñé cómo hacer la pregunta y la respuesta, remember? I am work or I worked? I worked. Work. I worked yesterday. I worked yesterday. All right. Carmen, what did you do? Hello, teacher. Well. Hi. In my case, I worked uh, half of day, the middle of shift. Okay. Because I have a, I have a little, a little meeting. So, but oh. the, from the evening, I, 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 I rested. Okay, good. Did you go to the cemetery? No, no, I didn't. No, oh, okay. Thank you. What about you, Hanato? What did you do? A teacher. Hello, Hanato. What did you do yesterday? 
in the is in the house in my house in a, a cooking and lunch. I cooked in my house. I cooked in my house in lunch. Lunch. Okay, good, good. All right, Miguel Garcia, hi. Hello, Miguel Garcia. You are on mute. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, yesterday I had uh, little trips around the uh, beach. Nice. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't went went to the cemetery. I didn't go to the cemetery. Okay. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Uh, sorry. Where do you work? Uh, I have a company about the. Uh, sponsor um, uh, the events lights some uh, tarimas oh okay uh, a screen a screen lead screen very nice yes oh cool all right nice okay good to meet you miguel what about you gustavo <laughs> what did you do yesterday hello teacher well, oh. yesterday at morning, I went to the cemetery and I stayed at home uh, some time. And at uh, afternoon, I come back to San Salvador from San Miguel. Oh, you're from San Miguel too, like Evelyn. Yes. Do you yes. know Evelyn? Uh, no. Oh. No. No. Because todos de San Miguel se conocen. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe. Maybe oh. only by face. Watch. Wait, wait, watch. Listen to this. Uh, Evelyn, where do you live in San Miguel? Uh, I live in Colonia Hirleman. Okay. Colonia what? Hirleman. Okay. And you, Gustavo? I am from Moncagua. Oh, okay, it's not San Miguel, San Miguel. It's not San Miguel, but yeah, but it's near. Okay, okay, I understand. I have a question, Gustavo. What are the um the conditions to visit the um the cemetery? Were there restrictions? No. Uh, no, for the cemetery where I had some families, uh, there's no restrictions restriction okay it's just a small cemetery and and it's in covid cases near okay because i heard that children and elderly people can't go yeah and for for big cemeteries okay that's the restriction oh, okay so me in my case yesterday i worked and um, yesterday was my birthday. So, oh, so congrats. congratulations. Thank you. Thank Happy you. Birthday. Thank you. Happy so I birthday. went I went to Denny's. Hmm. Yes. When it's your birthday, you have to go to Denny's because it's free. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's a tradition for always in, in Denny's that you eat free on your birthday. But of course, you know, you have to go with somebody, you know. Yeah. Or people. But your plate is free. So, um, yeah, that was cool. Se reían, no me creían que nací el día de los muertos. No, serio, no, look, really, there's my Dewey. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. <clears throat> so, for me, it was a normal day. You say the same days. <laughs> The only thing, no traffic, and that was beautiful. Yeah, well, that's, that's a well, good thing. Well, but actually, no, because by my house, there was traffic, because I live very, very near the um, cemetery. What's the name of that cemetery? Resurrección? I, I live in the, in the uh, Hawar circle. Mm -hmm. 
Jardines del Recuerdo. Thank you, Jardines del Recuerdo. So a lot of people in, in the autopista. I ate hojuelas, which was good. All right. And Gustavo, good. so you are from San Miguel and you live here yeah. or you are in yeah. San Miguel in this moment? I, I am uh, in San Salvador right now. I come for Monday to Friday for okay. work and I come back to San I, Miguel. I go back. I go back to San Miguel at uh, Friday and come back to Sunday. Where do you Sunday. work? Where do you work, Gustavo? Oh, Ministry of Finance. Oh, okay. Oh, you work in the government? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you go every Friday and you come back on Monday morning? No, on Sunday night. Do you go by car or bus? By car, by car. Bye, Evelyn. Look, you can carpool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's really hard to 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 travel on bus. I I was traveling around two years. Uh, but, the but, same. but if you go in the super special, it's cool because the air conditioning and you watch movies. Yeah, it's cool, but on Fridays it's oh. very hard. It was very hard because I um, maybe the last bus of the day oh, I okay. have to take it, and maybe it's crowding. It's, yeah, Mister, uh, you eat fiambre? Have you eaten? It's have you eaten fiambre? Okay, okay. Gustavo, have you ever eaten fiambre? Uh, no, I don't know what it is. Wait, let me give you the Migueleño test. Let me see how Migueleño are you. Okay. Uh, Evelyn, <laughs> Evelyn, Evelyn passed last month. Okay. She passed the test. Okay. Have you ever eaten or have you ever tried cocomal? Yes. Okay. Of course. Okay, then yes, you are Migueleño. We are from Andres Bello University. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you like the tortillas from San Salvador? Uh, no, I hate it. Okay, so uh, you are a authentic Migueleño. I bring my own tortillas from San Miguel. <laughs> yes. For a week. Um, I lived in San Miguel two years. A long time ago, and I love San Miguel, and I I like the tortillas in San Miguel, and the tortillas here. Yeah, <laughs> very oh. thinner. So, Evelyn, when you go to San Miguel, do you go by car or bus? No, by car. Uh, you two should carpool. Do you know what yeah. is carpool? Yes, yeah, driving yeah. the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, gasoline yeah. is very expensive now. Very expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really expensive. But um, pay with the Chivo wallet. <laughs> yes, it's 20 cents. Yes. It's, I mean, 20 cents is 20 cents. It's funny because some people say, like, oh, gasoline went up six cents. And everybody, oh, my God, oh, my God. No, but pay with Chivo wallet. You might have 20 cents. No, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but you, the, pro, the, the problem maybe is not for, for us. It's more for the transport massive. They didn't use the, the Shiba wallet to pay. And the products maybe get more expensive. What, like, to, like the public transportation? No, 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 like the products. Transportation. Oh, yes, yes, that's true. No, it's the inflation. Yeah, that, um, I think that's the most. United States is incredible in this moment, the inflation in New York, yes. Miami. People were saying that before to bring a cargo, a cargo from Miami to El Salvador. It was between five to seven thousand dollars the cargo, the container. Yeah. 
Okay. Now it's almost fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. So imagine the inflation. It's it's oh. it's crazy. Pero the good news is tequila se ha mantenido el precio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, so let's start. So uh welcome everybody. Remember, in this class, the expectations is you have to participate. En serio, nunca he conocido a alguien que ha aprendido solo yendo. You have to participate. You have to ask questions. Please. Y aquí, de verdad, aquí es el peor lugar donde les, se tienen que avergonzar hacer una pregunta porque ese es el objetivo porque aprender un idioma es like oh my god no sé pero me da pena no man esto no es matemáticas o o, o estudios sociales es inglés <clears throat> ya yeah, entonces pregunten ok so we're going to start so we have two new people Miguel García oh, where do you live Miguel? I live in Santana wow we have Santan. So you like fuzz? Uh, uh, no. No. Yeah. I okay. don't. I like. I hate the football. No. Really? You hate soccer? What? You hate soccer? Yes, yes, yes. I hate. Okay. Do you like sports? Well, yes. Basketball. Um, ciclismo. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, and Gustavo in San Salvador, where do you live? Um, near uh, university, National University. Okay, so you work in Tres Torres, right? Yes. Okay, so you right. you I live work. you live near your job. Yes, very near. Oh, okay. Oh, do you like the traffic there? Uh, I have the, the good thing to to go and walk into to work. Oh man, I envy you. Ten minutes walking. I I am at work. Oh man, you are set. <laughs> it's a good a good thing. Oh yeah, that's good. I avoid all traffic. Oh man, you are sad. That's cool. Good for you. Okay, so class, let's do this. Let me share the screen with you. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. All right, cool. Give me one second so I can. Okay, let me share the screen with you. It's not letting me. Why? Let me see. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
What do you see? A picture of mother and her son. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Okay, yeah, oh, my desktop, okay, cool, thanks. It's my wife and my son. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I love taking pictures. <laughs> but I, you know what? I like taking pictures of a spontaneous, like when they don't know I'm taking a picture. So um, spontaneous pictures. I think they're the it's best. It's best. Yeah, hold on. Let me see you. What about now? Do you see the English Corporativo? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. cool. All right, we're in. All right, so let's see what we're going to see today. Okay, no problem. See, it doesn't open. Okay, so look, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen and practice conversation between family members. Okay? Okay. okay. So listen and practice a conversation between family members. Can you hear? No. No. Not teacher. A conversation, but you will all now. I don't hear. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 Hold on. Cool. Yes. Okay. No problem. Let's go. Only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. All right, so it says... Of course, this time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Two part verbs or phrasal verbs. They're called like that. Do you know what that is? A phrasal verb? Okay, look, phrasal verbs, maybe it's confusing because it only exists in English. Why? Let me explain to you why. In Spanish, what is called? Llamar. Llamar. Llamar, good. What is off? Apagar. 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 So when we put call off, what is it? Colgar. 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 No. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, entonces por eso que yo les digo que es un poco confuso porque esto no existe en español, ¿ok? Y entiendo por qué todos, y me, todos me dijeron colgar. Terminar la llamada. No, realmente es cancelar. Mm. O sea que un phrasal verb es esto. A verb and a preposition together. Que no tiene nada que ver con, con, con lo que significan individualmente. Eso hay que memorizarlo. Sí, ajá. hay que memorizárselo, pero o hay que entenderlo, más bien dicho, porque hay, hay infinitos de. Pero si se ponen a estudiar phrasal verbs, uh, van a hallar así como existen verbos. 
les voy a dar un ejemplo de call off. Imagine, imagine Melissa is going to get married. Okay. Melissa, I remember you live with your boyfriend, correct? Yes, I live okay. with my boyfriend. Okay, um, this is an example, okay, Melissa? Imagine you are going to get married in November, in, in December. Okay. Yes? But you discovered Saturday, you saw your boyfriend, you saw your boyfriend holding hands with another girl. Okay. Will you continue the wedding or will you call it off? Maybe. I... You will continue? Uh, maybe. Oh my God, you're the perfect <laughs> wife. <laughs> you are the perfect uh, wife. Why? <laughs> I talk it with him and I tell about it. There's nothing to talk about. He was with another woman. Okay, okay, good. I respect, I respect. So in this case, maybe I would call off the wedding. Okay. So it's call off. It is for finish for any situation. No, yeah. Um, no, it's you call off only an event. Are only on event. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's call off the wedding. Call, what else do you call off? What other events? Well, Miguel, you work in, 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 in your business. Do you have a lot of people that call off the party? Events? Yes, about the pandemia <laughs> yeah some events call off <laughs> mm -hmm. okay good so um yeah in this case it's like oh my god uh the part the the wedding was called off because the the man discovered that the woman was actually a man i don't know what he meant. no <laughs> No, no, I'm joking. No, but you know, there, there's reasons why you call off. So, but that is a phrasal verb, and there are many. Piensen en uno que se le ocurra ahorita, a phrasal verb. Pick up. Pick that. Pick es escoger. Pick. Okay, pick. Coke or Pepsi? Oh, you pick Coke. Good. Up and arriba. So normally, uh -huh. nosotros escoger de arriba o algo, así pensaríamos, right? Pick up. Pero no, pick up es levantar. Levantar. O recoger. It turn off. Very good. Turn off. Mm -hmm. So what I recommend to you, esto sí realmente es bien, bien propio del idioma. Ok, es bien propio el idioma inglés. Y yo sé que hay, hay gente que les va a decir que es malo traducir y no sé qué, pero siempre lo van a hacer, es mentira. Yo lo hago. Y, y si ustedes hacen esto y traducen esto, no le van a dar lógica. Ok, entonces lo que les recomiendo es, bueno, hay algunos quizás sí, por ejemplo... Turn on, turn off, pero eso ya lo podemos de tanto leerlo en control. Turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. Pero por ejemplo, esto, call off. Um, Teacher, so, I have a question. Yes. Sometimes I listen, for example, turn the TV off. Off. But now, in the middle, in the middle of the phrasal verbs is the, is the object. Yes, very good, right? very good. So you can say, okay, so the, the phrasal verb is turn off. So you can say turn off the TV or turn the TV off. Okay. Melissa, cancel, I'm sorry, call off the wedding or call the wedding off. It's um, the same. Yes. Thank you. That's a very good question. 
So that is a phrasal verb, okay? So what I recommend to you, si quieren estudiar phrasal verbs, váyanse a Google y escojan los más populares. Y hay populares, por ejemplo, turn on, turn okay. off, pick up. Um, fill up. What is fill up? Llenar. Llenar. Completar. Teacher, una diferencia entre el turn off y el power off en un equipo. Porque generalmente en un equipo, ya sea televisor o sonido, bueno, equipo de sonido o algo, están las dos opciones. Bueno, en la, incluso en los sistemas también. Turn off y power off. Yeah, uh, turn off is the action. Power off is the indication, la indicación. But turn off, you have to do the action, turn off. Okay. Cuando dice power off, es, le está dando el propósito de ese botón, que es el power off. Hey, but that's a good question too. Pero sí, o sea, lo, lo mismo significa. Pero recuerden que turn off es un verbo y preposition. Power no es verbo, es nombre. Okay. All right, good. So, do you understand right now what is phrasal verbs? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Hoy voy a hacer una cosa diferente con ustedes. En, de, en vez de preguntar en general, le voy a preguntar directo. Marvel, what is the definition of phrasal verbs? No, no lo entiendo todavía. Ok, pero nunca me preguntó Marvel. It's ok, it's ok. Pero, ok, first, we know, sabemos que es un preposition, right? What is a preposition? In, on, at. It's, it's like a connection, right? So, you understand that, Marvel, a preposition? Marvel, do you understand prepositions? No. Okay, prepositions are, for example, in. ¿Se acuerdan cuando les enseñé el mes pasado prepositions of time and place? Yes. ¿A ustedes fue verdad que les enseñé eso? No. No, teacher. No, teacher. Dijo no. que lo iba a explicar, pero no lo explicó, teacher. No les expliqué la diferencia de in, on, at. No. No. Oh. Really? Yes. Really? Yes, really. Fue, entonces? Other group. <laughs> okay, I will explain. But anyways, what? remember, please remind me. Please remind me tomorrow or today. I'll do it today. Okay. Prepositions. What is a preposition? In, um, of. Uh -huh. uh, show, the, show the play, uh -huh. the time. Sí. Uh -huh. La preposición sería esa, Marvel. En, en, como en español, sería en, la, lo. Ok, so preposition and a verb. So when you have a verb and a preposition, si ¿sí ven eso, hmm. It's a phrasal verb. Okay. Yes, hang, hang. Hang, colgar. Colgar, good. E up. Uh, arriba. So, so what is hang up? Levantar. No, saben que hang up realmente es colgar la llamada. Don't hang up, don't hang up, hang up, hang up. No, o sea, y, y no tiene lógica, right? Hang up. O sea, I don't know why, pero así es. Colgar la llamada. Mm -hmm. Like, no, hey, look, I'm going to hang up. Bye. Boom. Okay. 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 Okay.
No entiendo, no entiendo qué tiene que ver app, pero I'm sorry, así es. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, yeah, hurry up. There's another one like, hey, hurry up. Teacher. Puede ser. Yes. También. Hey, when... la ropa? Hey, no, pero ahí sí solo el verbo hang. Hang the clothes. Okay. Pero si dice hang up the clothes, me. le van a decir, what? Yeah. I'm sorry, Roxana. Uh, teacher, I... I have a question. Yes. When you say feel blue, is frasal verbs? Okay, good question. Um, Francisco, is that a phrasal verb? Feel good? Feel blue. Let me see who, who can say no. It, who, it, can it, 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 uh, repeat the question, Roxana. Is correct say feel blue? Or is phrasal verbs? No. Is feel good a phrasal verb? Yeah, no, teacher, I think no. that no, because no. feel is a verb no. and no. good is an adjective. Very good. Free a verb is a combined uh, preposition and. Verb and preposition. Verb, verb, verb. Okay, very good. Yes, Roxana. No, in this case, it's not a phrasal verb. Because remember, in order to be a phrasal verb, it needs to be a verb and a preposition. Good is not a preposition. It's an adjective. Uh, sorry, is blue no good? Oh, but what? Feel blue is still an adjective. Thank you, teacher. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Very good question. But remember, blue is an adjective. Yes. Do you, you do you know the expression I feel blue? Uh, I yes, I have a homework or uh, in class of English for call center and I use this phrase and I don't know what is the meaning. It's like okay. a bad feeling, right? Is well, blue feel, is sad. Uh -huh. I have feel feel blue. No, I feel blue. It's sad. Y viene de la música de los negritos de los 40, 50. Cuando dicen sing the blues. Así decían sing the blues. Canta las azules. O sea, blue in that, in there, it was something sad. Mm. Bueno, el género R&B is rhythm and blues. But, but that, that's, that's, um, that's the expression, I feel blue, it's like I feel sad. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, do you know where blue prints comes from? Sorry? El principe azul. Do you know where that expression comes from, my blue prints? No. Um, no. In, in the time of medieval, medieval times, remember Maria Antoinette and, and everything? They used to wear a lot of makeup, taiko. The, the high class society, la elite, elite. Solo ellos podían use a lot of makeup, yes? And um, they were extremely white, pero like, like that, look. <laughs> like you. Yes, did you? Uh -huh, it's like, color así, queso craft, you know? <laughs> so what happened was that, um, what happened is that when they put makeup, se ponían tanto y eran tan secos que se les miraba las venas. Y en vez de verse verde, se miraba azul por el maquillaje. Como solo ellos se podían, la monarquía podía ponerse maquillaje, de ahí venía la teoría de sangre azul. Pero era el maquillaje realmente. So, that's the blue blood. All right, okay. Me quedé con esa duda que no les enseñé. El, el, les voy a enseñar ahorita, because it's very, it's very important. I see trees of green, 
red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Over in the rainbow. Yeah. Did you watch a Wizard of Oz? El Mago de Oz? Oh, yeah. Yes. That song. Yes. That song. Well, yeah, but man, you know that movie? I've never seen. You never seen it? So I watched it when I was little. When I was like this, like this. Y entre más la veo en lo que voy envejeciendo, más me sombra, like, wow. El, el diálogo de, is very good. Cuando le dice ella al al espantapájaro. ¿Cómo puedes hablar si no tienes cerebro? Le dice. Y que le responde, pero hay mucha gente con cerebro que habla, le dice. Y habla tonteras. It's like, con, o sea, el, no, I don't know, it's a good. Se me quedó, wow. Ok, so look, we have in, on, at. Hey, Daniel, hello. Hi, teacher. What's up? All is good. It's all good. All right, look. In, on, at. Guess in. Abajo. In? No. no. Dentro. 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 Mm -hmm. On? Sobre. 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 At? I don't remember. Uh, yes, a ver. <laughs> My wife is at her mother's house. Está en. Okay. En. Okay, yes. Yo he oído mucha gente que me dice que no entiendo porque en puede ser in five minutes or in my house, adentro de mi casa o en cien años. ¿Qué significa? Ok, hay que diferenciar dos cosas. Number one. Time and place. Ah. What is time? Yeah. Tiempo. Yeah. What is place? Lugar. Lugar. Okay, look. In, on, at, tiene dos usos. In time and in place. Okay? Okay. Are we okay here? Yes? ¿Estamos bien todos? Yes. yes. So, in yes. tiene dos usos. Yes. In time or in place. <laughs> on, on time or on, on place. At is in time or in place. Okay, now listen. Vamos a hacer ahorita only time, ¿ok? In five minutes. In three hours. Day. Months, years. So we can say in for time. When is Christmas? In two months. In two months. Okay, good. When is um, Black Friday? In, in November. November. On November. Yes. Ah, good. I just stay in the oh, on, yes. on or at. Oh, uh -huh. So, um, in November? On, on, on November. On November. On November. So, in five minutes, in five hours, in five days, in five months, in five years. 
in general times, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. me, me encantó cuando dije, ¿cuándo es Navidad? Nadie dijo December. It's in two months. In eight weeks. So, aquí estamos generalizando, dando una idea, right? En cuánto tiempo es. Mm -hmm. Cuando decimos ya on, somos un poquito más específicos. When is Christmas? On? On. December. 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 On Friday. Mm -hmm. On the weekend, good. So listen, on Saturday or on the weekend, I went to a wedding. We are not it was it was a good wedding. Next month. Next month is next month. No, now you know some I still send your next. You know it's in on at. Oh yeah. Okay. So I said yeah, in one month. When is Christmas? In one month. In one month. Mm -hmm. Or okay. on December. Oh, or on December. Pero no puede ser. When is Christmas? On one month in December. No, right? Entonces, ¿qué creen que la diferencia entre in y on? On is for more specific information. Yes, you give more information. You give the name if it's necessary. Yes. My birthday is on Friday. Oh, my birthday is in two days. El aguinaldo is in five weeks. <laughs> or el aguinaldo is on December. Do we understand? Yes. yes. Yeah. Hey, Genaro, when is your birthday? Uh, May. Uh, oh, in or on May? Seven May. So yeah, in May or on on May on May, on May seventh. So Genaro, your birthday is in on May. May Genaro, excuse me. Okay, good. On May seventh. Good. Por qué on Genaro y por qué on y no in? Porque me dijo la fue en específico. It's much more specific. Yes, yes. You mentioned a specific day and, and date. Mm -hmm. Entonces, on lo usamos más para fechas, yes. días. Yes. yes. Y en es para un aproximado. Si yo quiero decir, en diciembre voy a tener vacaciones, pero usando in, ¿cómo lo haría? In, I will in, have vacation in two months. Very good, in two months. In two months. ¿Y si lo usa con on? on I will have vacation on December. Beautiful, December. excellent. That's it. Perfect, do you understand? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, yo yes. usemos at. <laughs> at is solo para la hora. Only. At five. At five. At. So listen, the party at is five. on Friday at five. Yeah. At nine. At nine, at one, at two. Mm -hmm. Entonces, la, si alguien me quiere, alguien me dice, la fiesta va a ser el lunes a las seis. ¿Cómo dirían? Sí. 
party. The party will be. The party will be at six p.m. at Monday. At six p.m. At, at on Monday. At Monday. On Monday. On on, on Monday. Monday. Yeah. yeah, at Monday no, because remember, at is only for time. Yes. On Monday. On Monday. On Monday. At, yeah. at, at five p.m. Uh huh. Good. Entonces, si si simplificamos esto, ¿qué es la diferencia de? ¿Se acuerdan el niño chiquito que siempre le va a hacer la pregunta que usaba el mes pasado? Hola, ¿qué es la diferencia de in, on y at? ¿Qué le dirían? In, on and at. What is the difference? And is eh, in quizás como cuánto falta para que algo suceda. An approximate. Ajá, el, el on uh, especificando uh -huh. la fecha. And uh -huh. at. Eh, only time. Exactly. El tiempo en el que va a suceder. O sea, especificando la hora. El tiempo Very good. Tiempo. Specific time. Specific time. All right, good. Hoy nos vamos a ir a, a place. Questions. Questions, questions? No. Daniel, are you there? Daniel Edgardo? Yes, teacher, I'm here. All right. Did you understand in, on, at? Yes, teacher. All right. Marvel, did you understand? Yes, teacher. All right. Genaro? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Now... Let's do. ¿Cuál era el otro? Le di. I am place. 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 ¿Qué es place? Lo único que vamos a cambiar así ahorita. A ver, vamos a poner aquí at mejor. At y aquí on. What is, where are you in Metro Centro? ¿Quién maneja y detesta ir a traer a gente? Venime a traer, ¿a dónde estás? En Metro Centro, ok. Ah, sí, ahí llego, ya, ya, ya sé dónde estás. Metro Centro is very big. Yes? ¿Cuántas etapas son? Ocho. Entonces no me ayuda mucho que alguien me diga el metro centro. Entonces me va a ayudar que me diga at. So I am in metro centro at Simán. Ah, so what is the difference? At is for a specific ubication. Yes, in, uh -huh. in is more general. Mm -hmm. At is more specific. Incluso puedo estar en Simán mm -hmm. at the bathroom. Yes, because Simán is big. I am in Simán at the gentleman gentleman's department. So that is the difference between in and at. The two are very similar, but if there is a difference, at is always more specific. Where do you live in San Salvador? Ah, okay, good. Imagínense le dicen a una chica, hey, vamos al cine este fin de semana. Sí, okay, good. Okay, te paso a recoger, vaya. ¿A dónde vivís? En San Salvador. Ah, okay. <laughs> Imagínense, ¿dónde empiezo? Hmm. San Salvador is big. Where do you live? Oh, at Colonia. How much? ¿Cómo se llama la, la colonia La Vida Loca? La Vida Loca. The movie. No, en Soyapango. De, la Campanera. Ah. Corruña. 
Ah, bueno. bueno. Esa película, la vida loca. Les voy a dar un ejemplo. Dicen los Ubers de que aquí va un perfecto en y at. Dicen cuando les dicen, ¿a dónde vas? Ah, I live in Soyapango. Sí, pero where? Oh, no, en Soyapango. But where en Soyapango? Oh, at la campiña. No, no, gracias. Aquí va ese, por favor. Entonces no le gusta decir mucho at. So it's in at. Okay. Imagine when, when your husband or your wife calls you, ¿dónde estás? So I'm in the house. Where? At the room, at my room. Why? Okay, I need you to go to the kitchen. That's the difference between in and at. Okay? Thank you. Repeat, please. Okay. okay. Imagine um, my wife, she calls me in this moment. ¿Dónde estás? En la casa. In my house. In, in, in the house. Pues sí, pero ¿dónde? Where? Oh, at my room. Oh, okay. Please go to the bathroom. Mira, si está la medicina. Blah, 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 blah. But you see what I said? I am in my house at my room. Okay. O sea que at es para dar un poquito más de información. Porque hay gente que puede decir así también. Where are you? Oh, I am in Simán en Metro Centro. Oh, okay, good. Ahí mató todo bien solo. Pero si solo dicen, where are you? Um, I am in, in, in Metro Centro. Ooh, I need more information. Okay, ya estoy en Metro. Where are you? Oh, at, at Dollar City. <laughs> okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, Bye, estoy en Metro. Where are you? Oh, sí, pero Metro Santa Ana. Wow. No, I'm joking. Okay, and next is on. On is bien simple. On in este caso es sobre. You see the telephone? It's on the on. bed. Yes, it's on the on table. The it's on your head. It's on my head. Okay. Ven qué gran diferencia de on con, cuando era con tiempo y cuando es con lugar. Hmm. Por eso es que hay gente que me dice, es que no entiendo por qué on, o sea, on the table y on Saturday. ¿Y por qué? No, no entiendo. ¿Tiene tantos significados? No, no tiene, solo tiene dos. Tiene dos, no tiene dos significados, tiene dos usos. O con tiempo o con lugar. That's it. Ok, did you understand okay. the difference? Yes. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Sometimes yes, the people said, uh, she is walking in the park. Okay, mm -hmm. in the park. But other times say, she's walking at X Park. At, it's for, it's for this reason. It is for this reason. Yeah, because they're being more specific. Uh, at the Spino Park. Yes. Because she's walking in the park, then you, you think of a park in general. Whatever. Uh -huh. uh, any park. Okay. But if you say, oh, she's walking at Espino Park, then it's, you're being more specific. specific. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good question. Okay, class. Yeah, see the simple as <laughs> Así me gusta explicarlo porque sí, conocí mucha gente en tantos años que me dicen, no entiendo, hermano, las preposiciones me matan. Yeah. No, man, es, si las dividimos así en, en dos partes, es ok. Tiempo y lugar. Ok, class. So, um, I will see you tomorrow, ok? Okay, teacher. See you. Thank you, teacher. Very good to see you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. I will Good see night. you tomorrow, tomorrow at eight. At eight. Okay. <laughs> I will see you in 24 hours. Yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, three hours. On November 4th. <laughs> <laughs> On Zoom. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, everybody.